Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV Live. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, with us, always, is, you know, there's this guy who makes all this happen. He's kind of the staff, makeup artist, uh, cameraman, director, producer, my husband. It's Phil Gordimer. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whether you're watching us live or on Team Replay. It's 75 degrees in southern New Jersey near Philadelphia. Uh, looking in the chat, looks like it's 100 in uh, Phoenix and a whole bunch Oof. of other places. Oof. And uh, we have some studio audience joining us today. They'll be down in a few minutes. Uh, so I'm pouring us some wine today instead of a cocktail. Uh, we, we had a little bit of a late night last night, so we're going to take it kind of easy today. But I think after this live stream, I may need a proper cocktail. So I want to kind of pace myself. So today, we are, Phil and I are enjoying one of our favorites, Bogle Old Vine Zinfandel. Shall I bring it to you? I'll be right there. Okay. Um, Very okay. good. We have another one of our favorites that we may have. It's called the Wax Bat. It's a blend that we can only get through one of our, our uh, wine clubs. So, thanks for joining us. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. Should we tell them why we were up late last <laughs> night? So, yeah, so uh, we were trying to film yesterday and uh, we had a little, one of our monitors failed. So we had to put filming off, go out, buy a new monitor, disassemble the whole thing, reassemble everything. And then our friend and neighbor, Cindy, said, why don't you come over for champagne and Chinese food? And we went, okay. And we may have had, what, four bottles of, seven? I don't know. I know we enjoyed a lot of champagne and a lot of Chinese food, and uh, somehow we were there until almost 1 a.m. Yeah. So, thank you, Cindy, if you're watching. <laughs> so, do you have any PSAs before I get started? I do not. All right, how about let's move this out of the way. I'm going to put these over on the table for them. They can pour themselves when they get here. All right. <laughs> so today it's all about wild and crazy unusual sandwiches that are somehow delicious. Now we put a out on Facebook and on the community tab. We asked you, the viewers, what what crazy sandwich do you make that is delicious and you did not disappoint. We got 146 responses. And in fact, some of you I know personally and I think you may need help, <laughs> professional help. Yeah, because it's been kind of scary. So you can see I have uh, all kinds of stuff everywhere. I've got ingredients behind me, next to me, on both sides. So we're gonna do a little cooking today. Uh, there's one that I have scripted I want to make first, and then we're just going to kind of go off the cuff. I have no script today, uh, so hopefully you guys in chat can call stuff out too, uh, looking around what we have, and if I have the ingredients, maybe I can make it for you. So in chat, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube, tell us what is a weird sandwich, not that you've seen, you've eaten it. You yeah. have to say you ate it. Yeah. Yeah, because cause some of the stuff, it, it was like, you guys are, come on down. Come on. It's fine. <laughs> There's and our audience coming. Uh, so, boys, there's two wines there. Help yourself. And, uh, yeah, we're actually going to start out with, if you saw the cover page, yeah. the cover page uh, <sighs> had a very interesting cheese sandwich. So... We're actually going to start with that one. But again, in chat, let us know yeah. what is your most unusual sandwich that you've tasted. So people might be wondering how we thought up this idea. And the, I was in one of my food groups online reading responses to some someone's post. And someone else put up a response that had this horrific sounding sandwich. And I read it to Phil, and he went, well, you know, that yeah. might actually sound, be good. And I don't remember what it was, but that sparked this idea that, wait, there's our next live stream. So we're going to make 
a version of a grilled cheese sandwich. Or maybe we're gonna make two. Hey, let's check in with our uh, audience. Yes, it's our besties, Cliff and Alan. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. They're cooking dinner for us tonight, so. Sure, rearrange the fridge. Whatever you gotta do. That's fine. So, this is kind of a version of a grilled cheese sandwich. And this was something that someone sent us early on and I don't know, Phil found a picture and uh, I am loath to do this, but I will for you. So Let's actually, Melissa Ann is starting off with one right off the bat. Yeah? Yep, she says peanut butter and Miracle Whip. Ooh. Sometimes you'd add a slice of bologna. I... Miracle Whip is banned in this house. Yes. Our son used to eat it like it was candy. Yeah. So, first thing I want to do is butter some bread here. So you're going to tell them what you're, what you're making? Yes, dear. Yes, dear. I'm getting there. We're going to make a grilled cheese and Oreo sandwich. Now you would think, okay, sweet and tangy, it might not be too, too terrible, uh, except this uses something that I hurts my soul to even have in my house, Velveeta. Uh, I, I'm sure you do like it. I, oh, I like real cheese. I'm a snob. Uh, you know, real cheese is is and you can talk loud. You don't have to whisper, guys. You know that. Did did you oh, have a mic for them? That's right. I do have a microphone. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. So I just like Ow. the butter. Yeah, just push it on there. Butter the outside of the bread. Get that in there, toasting. This is the way my mother did it. Both sides of the bread. Well, just the outside. I'm not going to do the inside. Some people do. I do both sides. Do you? Yep. Inside too? Yeah. Yeah, Hank yeah, says. For 30 years, you're like, what? Devil potted ham. On white bread. On white bread. What's potted ham? You know, uh, the, the little cans ham under wood bread. of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Kevin's striking back. Okay. You say, Miracle Mip makes a good sandwich, don't hate. No, sorry. No. Too late. Does your wife allow it in your house? That's the question, Kevin. All right, let's get that out of the way. Now, we need some of this cheese. Cheese. <laughs> and I use the term loosely. I'm just gonna, oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Yeah, just kind of squish some of this off. It should melt well, right? Velveeta yeah, melts really it'll well. Melt yeah, melt very well. Of course, I haven't used it in years. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't remember the last time I ate Velveeta, probably in my uh, very early days on my own. Your youth. Yeah. <laughs> my youth. Now, uh, Linda says she loves Velveeta. Velveeta. I have some Oreos, and we got the thins. We thought they might be a little better in a sandwich than a great big thick Oreo. Again, if I get this open, something I have not had in years is Oreos. We used to have them around the house all the time, and then we just, you know, we started eating healthier because we were getting older and all that <laughs> nonsense. I don't know how many is supposed to go on, so. We'll just see what happens. Now, I wonder with these thins, dear, if we could use these to replace the chocolate wafers that they had the bad taste to stop making so for my icebox cake. Kevin's reminding us of Velveeta's radioactive block of pure happiness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a little more on top. Little more on top. Yeah, we have 26 people in today. Oh, all right. 19 people on uh, YouTubery and seven in Facebookery. Yay. Very good. Very good. I mean, if we're going to go in, let's go all the way. Now, I'll put the little hats on them. 
All right, let's check in with our audience check while, in while you're I doing do, that. I'm doing this. All right, so we've got we've got the guys from Pepper Tree Villa. Hi guys. Great show Monday night. That was fun. Yeah. I was a little quiet because I was multitasking. Uh, we've got our good old regular Hank, who's out in Arizona. Mm. They're starting their hundred degree days. <coughs> nope, 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 nope. And we've got Jack, Jack and Paul. All right. Up near our seasonal campground in the mountains. And Linda B is in. Hey, Linda. And we've got Janine. Oh, good. Hi, Janine. <laughs> Linda, you don't know what you're in for. This could be very scary. <sighs> or it, we it, it might could be play. very delicious, too. Oh, Joe Brennan's got the truth here. We've had yes. some fun times with Cindy. <laughs> All right, and we got Melissa Ann. Who else have we got? Oh, Glow's here. Oh, hi, Glow. And Viola. Excellent. And Viola is on our next schedule. Yes. In two weeks. Mm -hmm. So we'll be visiting her channel. Donut sandwich. I've seen that. I, I thought about getting some donuts. When we were preparing for this, it was great fun just wandering the aisles of the supermarket just pulling random stuff together. We had some ideas of what we wanted from seeing all the things that y'all sent in, uh, but a lot of it was just like, hmm, what could we do with this? And We've got Janine in from Janine's Kitchen in Florida. And then the other Cindy is also here. Wow. Hi, hey, the gang's all here. All right, let me well, switch. technically, Cindy Camo, you do have seniority, so you wouldn't be the other Cindy, but since you live far away from us, sometimes you're the other Cindy. All right, so while you're doing that, yeah. I'm going to start pouring out some of the lists of these sandwiches that should die. So oh, let's start. Dear, people did make these and They eat did. Them. So Lou, our neighbor, tuna fish salad and grape jelly on wonder. Lou, who lives just a few doors down the, yeah. I don't, mm, mm, <laughs> I don't know about that one. The guys from Pepper Tree Villa. Jello so salad. They're going to be making Jello salad. Oh, that's right, because they were doing their retro commercials. Oh yeah, right, right, so right. It'd be right, fun right, to yeah, see one of those yeah. retro Jello commercials yeah. with that. That would be a lot of fun. Uh huh. Good. I see meltage happening. Oh, side of the and our boys go. from the UK are in. Oh, excellent. Hey, we made it from one home. <sighs> see what happens, guys. You know, you go to Prague and, and LCTV just goes crazy. <laughs> Kevin says Jello is for shots, not salad. Oh, no, Kevin. Jello salads were wonderful. They were all the rage in the 50s and 60s. Oh, yeah. I mean, those of us who grew up having them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they were kind of, like, elegant. Putting things in an aspic was a, a very all fancy All right, thing. so we got cheese and jelly sandwich, favorite with sharp cheddar and apricot jelly and butter. Now, that sounds good to me. Well, and you know <laughs> what, what other people sent in, which I didn't think was weird? Cream cheese and jelly. People were sending that in. But, like, I think where we all grew up here, it's like, that's a normal, yeah. common thing. But on a bagel. On a bagel, on a bagel or we used to have, well, we never had bagels, but uh, just No, bread. neither did we growing up in Kensington. Yeah. <laughs> there was no such thing as a bagel uh -uh, in Kensington. Uh -uh, no. And then there's your favorite. Uh, All right. The peanut butter, the... Um... <laughs> Janine says she's already inspired. She wants to try white chocolate. Um, All right. White this. chocolate chips with white cheddar. Yeah. Did it melt? Oh, yeah. Cut it open. Let's see what this, I am, dear. I this am. hot mess looks Hold like. Hold on. This one is really oozy, so I'll cut this one. Now my phone is telling me something. All right, here we go, peeps. Look at that. Ooh. Tip Ooh, it up a little, funny. please. There we go. Looks. All right, I'm coming over for this one because I made the poster based on this. And those who know me, I'm a now, bad gay. I don't like chocolate, okay. but I like cookies. 
pray for me. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the bell meat is really salty, but then you bite right through the Oreo cookie, and you get this mound of sweetness. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's get in the right mode here. Yeah. <laughs> Alan's like, oh, yeah. oh. It's different. It's different. All right, I'm going to keep going with my list because I have so <laughs> many of them. <laughs> While you think about it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This one's weird. Tom from camp. Tom? Tom from camp. Oh, oh, peanut butter and mustard sandwich. Bill and Tom, Tom. Right. Ocean View Tom, yeah. Peanut butter and mustard. Actually, I like this. Do you? Yeah. Okay, see? It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Then it's a success. I mean, the Velveeta is always a little salty, but then a the little sweetness. Well, and-, and I then... could do without the chocolate, but the cookie part's good. Of course, I don't eat Velveeta, so I, the salt is way beyond. Uh, gee, we didn't think we are going to put all this stuff, dear. Oh, well. Just have to go there. <sighs> that was fun. I'm surprised Kevin's not on his way over already. Yeah. Really? All right, so I know we've had... Ooh. Melissa oh, says, I also love white, white bread, red and peanut, peanut butter. butter. And leftover spaghetti with red sauce. Hmm. Okay. Now see, that sounds like something, and some of these that people sent in sound like, an, like, were you having a craving when you were pregnant? Or did you have to make this for your spouse when she was pregnant? Like what? And where is your stuff coming from? Hector's in from the East Coast. Hello, Hector. When you've come home drunk. Well, <laughs> well we, not that we ever. We, no, we, we never did that, ever. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Well, at least we didn't crawl home. You know, we like our friend Cindy. She's a champagne snob, so we had really good champagne. Yeah, we did. With yeah, a mess of Chinese champagne. food. But it was a really good time. Thank yeah. you, Cindy. And that's kind of an unusual combination, but, you know, champagne goes with everything, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I just uh, while you uh, clean up there, let me put myself on. And really, let's get the right buttons here. In chat, let us know where you're watching from. Say hello from your city and state, and we'll build a map later on in the show, and we'll see where everybody's coming from. Okay. I have an unusual one I want to make next, and uh, I, I, will, I will... What? Neighbor. Oh, hey, Phil. Phil yeah, Phil Kent, come on yeah. over, eat a sandwich. Oh, he's in Philly. Um... So I had this little twisted idea. This came out of my little dark bubbling brain and I mentioned it to Phil and then he and I started talking and we changed it into what I'm about to do. We have not tried this yet, so it could be terrifying. We're gonna start with some mega waffles. Another product I have not had in, I don't know how many years, probably again, when I was first out on my own. And, you know, when I was a kid, I was a little foodie nerd even as a kid. So, you know, kids experiment with, with stuff like that. So yeah, I would make like peanut butter and butter sandwich. Tim Stringer. I've heard of that. Uh, you know, you, you try weird things and you that's how you train your palate and, you know. What do kids do? Oh, I'll take a peanut butter sandwich and put mustard on it. That'll gross someone out and then, ooh, it's good. Uh, but, you know, then there were also times... Oh, this is complicated to open. Cooking with Andrea. Hi, guys. Hi, Andrea. Uh, here's one from Bri Bri. Your Bri Bri. Hi, Bri Bri. Reverse P, B, and J. Peanut butter and jelly on the outside of the bread. Okay. That'd be a little messy. Yeah, sure. Right. Right. There we go. I don't know about this easy thing. The time. So I'm going to toast these up. My little toaster. I think it has a waffle. Yeah. There we go. This is going to be kind of fun. Hopefully. 
Oh, oh, here's one. How about tuna fish salad and grape jelly on Wonder Bread? No. No. <laughs> no. Booze there, there, from the audience. There are worst, wor worst, worst things I would imagine. So when we were doing also research for this and we were looking up a lot of common things were peanut butter, Bananas. Bananas. Oh, Nutella. yeah. Nutella. Show that yes. off. Yeah. Peanut butter and Nutella. Nutella, yeah. Nutella and peanut butter were at least half of the 148 yeah. entries. And then, you know, what they combine with it, whether yeah. it's like bananas and spaghetti sauce or whatever. Nutella yeah. and raspberry on. Mm -hmm. uh, Nutella and raspberry jam. Yeah. Well, that would be chocolate raspberry, so that would be good. This is just too sweet for me, so. Again, yeah, I haven't had this in years, so we bought it and. I opened it in case I wanted to use it. I haven't dug into it yet, as you can see. Uh, anyway, this was one of the most common things, peanut butter and... Um, what was also interesting, cooking on your love, mess sandwiches, peanut butter, syrup, and butter. Okay. I guess maple syrup is what you mean. And they make like maple -y or honey flavored peanut butter. So yeah, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to say something. Uh, yeah, so when we were doing research and, and looking at different things and people were sending stuff in, cheese and jelly sandwiches, my favorite sharp, cheddar and apricot jelly and butter. Didn't we see that? Because that yes. sounds, yeah. Nope. Yeah, that Sorry. sounds good. Oh, Next peanut one. butter and mustard. We saw that too. Yeah. Nope. I know, you have a lot to manage today, dear. I do. Yeah. Let's try one more. Indian oh. relish, that was you guys yep. that said that too. What else was on it? Indian relish, Indian potato. relish and potato chips, that's it. What time bread? White bread. Guess what I have. But I was 15, so. I have India relish, which is now called sweet relish. Yes. Oh, all right, we'll do mine first and then we'll. Here's our waffles, nice and warm. Oh, here's. A uh, good one from um, uh, Jeff. So they're giving us, they're in Wales, oh, in Wales but Darren yeah. loves tuna fish with horseradish, horseradish. Okay. and white toast. No, I didn't bring horseradish down. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I have here some chicken liver pate. Oh, good. I like that. I made a quick version, not my usual version. Uh, and that I was rushing and forgot to saute the onions for it too. But it's seasoned well. It's pretty tasty. And look what I'm doing. I'm putting this chicken liver on a waffle. But wait, there's more. Yeah, is that just a straight waffle that's not flavored? Yeah, it's, it's like a buttermilk, buttermilk flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's not like it's like it's a, you know, berry flavor or something. And then we're gonna have a couple of pickles. So it High looks pepper like tree, pepper tree and, and Viola are neighbors. We're close. Wow, awesome. We got a little dill pickle on here. And um, uh, I don't see her in today, but uh, Karen in the in the kitchen with Karen is from Brentwood, and um, right. Well, that doesn't look bad. Well, that's interesting. I think that oh, I was supposed to put potato chips on it too. Yep. So it's, it's liver. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of people, growing up here, Cliff and you know, Alan, you guys, putting chips on sandwiches is a pretty common thing. But a lot of people in other parts of the country were horrified. See now, the waffle's perfect for a spread every bite equal. I like this idea. Yeah. Um, We'll see how this flavor combination goes. I had originally also wanted to do this with a burger and a fried egg, but uh, that idea was 86. Yeah. You don't have to, okay, we're gonna do this together? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Four pieces now. We, okay. came, we came up with this stupid thing. Yes, we're gonna... we did, dear. Yes, we did. All right. Good thing you don't need to switch from over here. Hold on, hold on. I'll take mine back with me. All right. I can suffer in silence. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This is not bad. Believe it or not. What are you doing? Actually, it's very good. Yeah. 
I want to try it. Why don't you deliver <laughs> these, dear? Yeah, the it's dill pickle actually goes fairly well. It does. With the chicken liver, and this is a mild waffle, so it's a nice texture. If it were super sweet, it might be a little weird. Mm-hmm. You know? Hmm. All right, that's a success. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like it, too. Mm-hmm. So now, I've got my wheels turning in the back of my head. What else can I use waffles for and make sandwiches? Wouldn't that freak people out at a cocktail party to see them on? It is good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but see now, our viewers heard the word liver. Yeah. And half of them went, no, no. I know. I love liver. Mm -hmm. I love chicken liver specifically. Yes, you do. Phil. Phil. What? Yeah. I get it. Yeah. This is going to be a messy episode for all of us. <laughs> I like that one. That was good. That was not bad. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you had said white bread and Indian relish and potato Pot chips. Potato did you, chips. Did you toast it? Nope. Just plain on white bread. Right. Just plain white bread. Let's do this. Oh, hold on. Here's a good one for you. What? Smoked salmon and Nutella. Are you pregnant? Heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> I mean, I wonder that, which that it seems like a Karen, crime against, I can't I, that believe our I wonder Karen. if that our Karen? Uh, that sounds like a crime against smoked salmon, mm -hmm. doesn't it? I used to, you know, as a kid, oh, Linda B. love chicken liver. Yeah, we do too. Yep. And, you know, kids... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. In fact, I may have someone put it back in their fridge for me. That, yummy Linda, put potato chips in my sandwiches too. Yeah, but people online, when, when we were looking around, some of these forums, they were like, oh, that sounds gross, I've never done that. And and people in the UK are like, well, we call them well, crisps. Here, here's another strike too? back for Oreos. Uh-oh. Ham, mayo, cheese, and Oreos on white bread. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would do it. Yeah. I have all those things. Right, we said. Uh, now here's a really strange one. Oh, I should have opened this before. There we go. Ooh. Kimchi grilled cheese sand. Well. Is kimchi really, really strong? Sometimes it can be. It can be very spicy, sometimes not. Um, it might not be bad. Yeah, because the cheese would mellow it out if you use a good cheese. Yeah. That might not be terrible. We have a request from Melissa. Okay. Can you do a liver episode sometime and want to start eating organ meat, but I have no idea how to prepare it. Um, sure, if you mean like cooking calves liver and stuff like that, or, or cooking chicken livers, absolutely. I love liver and onions. Mm -hmm. We did. The problem is this has a very limited audience, so it well, may not do well, but. That's right. We did chicken liver pat say, I think, a couple times, and yes, the second did. one did better. Yep. I I like liver, but I haven't had it in years. Chicken livers, yes, but not liver and onions. Well, and My the, father loved it. The problem is most people overcook it. Yeah. My mom overcooked it. Mm -hmm. I had to put mustard on it. My mom would soak it in milk first to take yes. out some of the uh, gaminess, the iron taste to it, and it tenderized yeah. it a little bit. Yes, it does. Yeah, I haven't done that in years, though. Mm -hmm. I haven't really... It's one of those things that if I'm in the mood for and I want it, then I'll, I want it. But to just buy it, and uh, I tried once. I bought it, I was going to cook it for him, and I cooked it, and then I just, I can't eat this. Just, the switch had flipped. Oh, Jack's got one. What? Paul's Reader Sandwich's Tavern Ham, uncooked canned asparagus, jelly cranberry on a roll. Hmm. You know, Jack, that guys, that that might work. <laughs> but it might work. And, oh, sorry. That's great. Speak of the devil. Kimchi grilled cheese sounds delish. On rye bread, add some Russian dressing, Look and it's like from. a meatless root. And I see that. That's true. How are you yeah. feeling today, Cindy? <laughs> Probably as good as us. <laughs> yes, we we had some. Very, very good champagne last night. So this is all it was? Just India relish and chips? Yep. Okay. 
Cut it up. Yeah, yes, dear. Calm, calm down. It's one that. I don't is think best you have to left in your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Another little plate. Are you in for this, Jerry? You're gonna leave me. Uh, I'm catching up here. All we right. got more coming in. Okay, good. Uh, cooking with Andrea says uh, chicken hearts, gizzards, gizzards yum, yum, and oh yeah, I livers. love the gizzards. We haven't had tongue things. in like forever. We have not. No. Because I've never cooked it. I don't think I ever had tongue. Oh, see, yes, I I've had No, dear, we're not calling you the devil. Mm -hmm. We've been complimenting you. If you like India relish. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. Oops, sorry. That's okay. I forgot to change the right button. Deliver this to the fam. So thank you. Let me revisit his childhood. Okay, the Care Bears. My first girlfriend. Doritos any on sandwich. any sandwich. There's some Doritos back there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's not terrible. No. It is something that Ooh. a 15-year-old might put together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen that a lot. PB and jelly with mustard or peanut butter yep. with mustard. A lot of people do that. Not bad. Starving student sandwich. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, just a starving young person out on their own for the first time. Here's another one. Fried chicken sandwich topped with flaming hot Cheetos and ketchup. All right, that doesn't sound terrible. Yo, know, like your stomach could handle that. Well, I don't care for flaming hot Cheetos, uh, but it doesn't sound terrible. No. I eat some spicy food, dear, sometimes. Oh, I just here's an it equally later. crazy one from the same. Cheddar cheese, pepperoni slices, and maple syrup on toast. Ooh. That doesn't sound too terrible either. Right. It's a little weird, but. All right, since we're on that same genre. All right, apples and peanut butter, I'm fine, but you lost me at the Velveeta. No, I that might, sounds good. I might like it with a nice cheddar. All right, now we were going to do this one. I bet I still can do it. Oh, no, we can't. No, we don't. Potato salad. Potato salad, sliced hot dogs, graham crackers, and maple syrup all on white bread. Wow. That's a combo. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That, that's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> and it depends on the potato salad. Is it a sweet potato salad? Does it have <laughs> like, pickle relish in it? Or does it, is it more savory with is it German legs? potato is salad? Is it German? Is it American? Yeah. That could be scary. This is a very messy episode. I'm just making a mess all over. All right, let's, all right. let's see. We'll give uh, another minute or so for people to tell us where they're from. Let's see if we can build the map. Okay. All right, where should oh, we? Hold on. The guys have an interesting sausage they bought. Just brought sausages for sandwiches called Mango Madness. Mango, jalapeno, and maple syrup in the sausage. That sounds delicious. Someone sent one in and, and we didn't use it, but they, it was something with deer sausage and jalapenos. And I thought, where? I, I couldn't get deer sausage. Um, and what about all those millions of sausage combinations at our favorite at Amish, uh, market. Amish market? Yeah, maybe there I could have gotten it, but. Um, all right, what, what should we do next? Hold on. Back in the 60s, working KP and watching the cooks prepare a big piece of liver cured me of ever eating liver. <laughs> 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 I get that, Hank. All right, let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. Let me get over to my map page. Yeah. All right, so we've got your hosts in Seoul. We got Dixie in Binghamton. Hi, Dixie and Phil. We got Hank. I have no idea. It never seems to get Phoenix, yeah. Arizona for Hank. Yes. I'll figure it out one of these days. We got Jack and Paul from Nanatoke, Pennsylvania. 
We got Janine from Florida, Papano Beach. Which is not showing up either. Not showing up, that's because it does. Oh. The reason why they don't show up is pop, there are more than one Pompano Beach, so it, the software doesn't know. Mm. It's why it needs a state. And we've got Joe and Peggy from Exton. Home of nothing. Well, you guys are famous. We're and famous Wayne and An okay. Andrea from Nevada. Does not seem to like Nevada. Or Arizona. Hmm. And we got Janine in Florida. We have Cindy here in Sewell with us. We've got Melissa from Washington, North Carolina. Yeah. That's a pretty yeah, good crowd. Software's not doing well today. Yeah, and of course, uh, Jeff it. and and hold on, Darren we in Wales and Central Connecticut. All right, we're gonna have to investigate what's going on. And with the... you, know, are they showing up in Wales? If you dragged them that, oh, Cindy from Westchester, other Cindy. Right, so, I think I know yeah. what's going on. I think our API out at YouTube is run out of. Oh. Requests because we've been doing so many maps. Okay, that could be. And we've got Wales, mm -hmm. and then we've got Bay Area and Reno. Oh, we got Reno, Nevada. Oh yeah, it did show up. Hm. Yeah, it's only doing every few, so I think we're. I think our map API is. Bound. Oh well. Okay. Oof. Oh well. I'll fix it Never for mind. next week. All right. What else do you want me to cook? Hold on. Oh, what now? I see what looks like ground beef, scrapple, and borson cheese. My messed up mind says you need to make a sandwich with them. Maybe add in a few chips. And you know, Kevin, I, I um, some of the stuff we bought is props. Um, so like to me, scrapple is not weird, right? Oh. To those of us who live here and grew up on it. Uh, people outside, like our friends in Wales, would probably, well, maybe not Wales, they eat black blood pudding, but other places in the country, they're probably gonna be clutching their pearls, but I will gladly try and cook some up scrapple and make a sandwich. Let's do that. So it take a little while. In chat, you yeah. can see what we've got here. Start calling out some ingredients and let's build a weird sandwich. And if we don't have it, we'll tell you. Isn't scrapple similar to blood pudding? Yeah. No. It is? No. In taste. When we were over in England, it tasted, to me, it tasted very similar. Well, it, it, it is. It may have been made poorly. But it is in that, you know, blood pudding things, they're, they're using the entire animal. Mm -hmm. And Scrapple is, is scrap. making the scraps. They're yeah. trying to use the entire animal and a lot of pepper tree clutching well, their here pearls. We go. Thank Lin you. Linda's got one. Scrapple brie, brie and, and grape jelly. jelly. I almost bought some brie and I don't know why I didn't. We got um, the scrapple and we got the grape jelly. Now that yeah. sounds pretty good. That what does about, sound good. Um, apple butter instead of the jelly. You could. I don't think I have apple butter. I did. That's, that's very that's, Pennsylvania Dutch, yeah. the apple butter and scrapple. scrapple yeah, that's what we used to have. Okay, right. Janine, so we need to explain this because scrapple is in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania thing. So Pennsylvania. can you, Janine's Kitchen is asking. She's down in Florida. So for those of you outside of the Delaware Valley, Scrapple is a regional food and it's a way that they would use up all the scraps from the pig after they butcher it. So it's everything edible. It's all cooked and ground up. It's mixed with cornmeal and spices. It's everything and, but the oink. Yeah, essentially. Uh, and it's put into a little loaf Here, like on. this. Okay, that's what it looks like. Similar in concept to like head cheese or sauce, uh, some of the uh, blood puddings and things that they would do over in the UK and, and in Europe. It's just a way to use everything. And, and especially now, the, the trend of uh, using the entire animal is really coming back. Scrapple is an important thing. Problem mm -hmm. is people get afraid of it when they hear, oh, that's it's the livers and the guts and the this, but... So sort of yeah. like um, if you grew up Pepper on Tree it. Villa guys was saying that they got sausage to all these ingredients. Right. In the areas out here, a lot of their delis make their own version of scrapple in different oh. flavorings. Yeah. It's typically uh, either deep fried or pan fried. Yep. Um, uh, sort of a staple with uh, eggs and people yeah, who like to put food, ketchup generally. on everything. Now, I always dipped it in flour before I fried it. Oh, really? With a, with a good bit of uh -huh. oil. Okay. <laughs> like almost deep frying it. I live in Port Royal. Guess where I live? <laughs> in the right proper or, state. So you didn't say Taylor Ham, so we now know what part of the state you're in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. They're from south to, to central. Uh, so what shall we have? Uh, what type of bread should we use for the Scrapple sandwich? Mm, how about we have some mixed pumpernickel? I have pumpernickel rye. I have raisin bread. I have pumpernickel rye. That's kind of boring, but okay. You no. want no. Well, breakfast. Well, yeah, okay. All right. Do you have any maple syrup? <laughs> Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, but I, I know something else I'm going to put on. Lance and Ken, if you're watching, Lance, look away. Because you're not going to like what I'm going to do to this sandwich. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get hands and you in here. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about missing buttons. And maple syrup probably wouldn't be terrible because uh, you know, they make all like waffles and, and things with little maple syrup nuggets and people use pancakes as as bread. I'm telling you, apple butter. Yep. All right, so let me, always let me continue down the more sandwich list. Apple let me get butter. you back up here. Okay. We've got avocado, avocado, American cheese, ranch powder, and vinegar on a sesame oh. seed bun. I have everything but the ranch powder. That almost sounds like a McDonald's jingle. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have ranch dressing there? Uh, I have Thousand Island. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what was supposed to go on that sandwich too, dear, the Thousand Island dressing. Oh, yes. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, I have ranch, some sort of ranch dressing upstairs. How about... Uh, this is an interesting one. A French fry sandwich. Using pepperoni pizza as the bread, good with ranch dressing. That let's see. That sounds like something you would have crawling home at three, four in the morning. <laughs> Some leftover pizza, yeah. Pre hangover. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> now here's another one. Peanut butter, lettuce, mayo, bananas, and pickles on whole wheat bread. Now see that. Other than the pickles, and I don't care for peanut butter and bananas, but my mother always used to make. Peanut butter, a peanut butter sandwich, but she would put some iceberg lettuce and a little bit of mayonnaise on it. That sounds like a maternity sandwich. And, but it was a staple in my house growing up. Not quite ready to turn. Yeah, this is yeah. going to be a little while because Scrapple does take a Takes minute a, to cook. a while to, to cook. Yeah. Turn that heat up. <laughs> We'll smoke the place out a little well, bit. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not set off the, the smoke alarms, dear. Not that our little burner has ever gotten this room so hot. That's happened, ever. But I hate to have it happen on live stream. All right, continuing the theme of Oreos. What do we got? Mozzarella cheese and Oreo. Look who it's from. Benny, okay. Benny. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Damn. Is it that Benny? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Benny. We haven't seen you in a hundred years. <laughs> the guys from Pepper Tree says, Iceberg lettuce, the nutritional value of a pl plastic <laughs> office plant. Well, that's not entirely <laughs> true, but it's still a oh, delicious really? thing. But it's still, it does have some nutrients. It has lots of fiber. Yeah. I, I like, like it. Salad. It's not my, my regular go-to lettuce, but I like it. On a sandwich, it's great for a nice crunch. Oops. Uh, here's another one. Really? There we go. Peanut butter, banana, and sauerkraut sandwich. Yeah. Okay. And that's another thing. People put sauerkraut on sandwiches a lot, apparently, is. It adds, like, or like the kimchi, which is also fermented, it adds a tang, I guess. Yeah. Maybe some crunch. Uh, more layers of flavor, if I were trying to be chefy and give a hard sell on some gross sandwich. Well, I've taken kielbasa and sliced it and, and put sauerkraut on well, white bread. Yeah, but like peanut butter and jelly with sauerkraut? That's a little... Oh, I don't know. I Maybe know. Yeah. I don't have sauerkraut, so after I've gone, to I like bed. sauerkraut, so I do too. All right, this is actually almost cooked enough for me because it is already pre-cooked. You really just cook it until it's brown and crispy. Yeah. But in in the name of uh, we're going to be here for seventy five hours, we're going to keep going with this. My waffles popped. I need a little McGeggy. 
I thought you were going to do start with mayonnaise. That's what would make our Long Island boys go nuts. Oh, please. Oh, oh. So, Lance, look away for the egg, and Ken, if you're watching, look away. Both of you, because, yeah, we're going to have some mayo in this. Yes, we are. Yeah. They don't like mayo. They are... Did they toast? Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Yeah, no, they, they did. They're a little, little blonde. Well, they did. Okay. A little mayonnaise. Now, I think mayonnaise makes anything good. Well, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this combination of mayo, maybe not. Why not? Smoked oysters. oysters and cheese with mayo and cranberry sauce. Okay. Well, I have sardines and I have smoked herring here. Oh yeah, we should do something with sardines. That'd be fun. I think the women are coming up with the weird I'll see if I can flip this without breaking the deal. No pressure. No, no pressure. Boop. Just like that. I'm gonna turn that off. Let the residual heat finish cooking that. Carry over cooking kids. Uh, Here's another one. I Turkey, po lot, potato chips, more. bananas, and Nutella. Okay. okay. We have, oh, I don't have bananas. But I have everything else. Sure. I'm going to disagree on this next one, Linda, because raw oysters oh. are to die for. Only the oysters are We fried. love <laughs> raw oysters. Yeah, no. but we, we love them more. Raw oysters? Not on a sandwich, no. no. <laughs> Not on a sandwich, we're just, in general. Yeah. Yeah, they're fine. But fired. no, Linda, I, I agree with you if the oysters are fried. I don't know that I'd want a tin of smoked oyster sandwich. Uh, I've never had them out of the tin. Maybe they're delicious. Mayo is the only edible thing I don't like. Have you ever made it yourself, Viola? Because making it yourself, yeah. it's a little different flavor. Actually, it's a lot differently flavored than what you get in the jar. And then you can control what goes in it, how much salt, if it's a sweeter mayo and or whatever. Oil. So you might try making it yourself. I might know a video where uh, <laughs> you, you learn how to make it really, really fast. We did a short of that with one of our it. first experiments with shorts, and it got like 25,000 views. You could do, you could do like mayo uh, and, and do a hollandaise sauce, do different sauces. Yeah. Yeah, we also did a whole series on Okay, now sauces. this is a real sandwich. I happen to know this one. Which one? Nope. Uh, yeah, no, that's Pineapple and mayonnaise oh, yeah. on white bread. It's called the Southern Sweet. And and sometimes they make like a salad out of it of the mm -hmm. yeah. Not only because they like pineapple. And you like mayo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. La 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 la. Ooh, it's going to be runny. Yeah. What yes. else are you going to do there? I don't know. What do we got? Because right now. It's um, kind of pedestrian. Other than yeah, it's, mayo. I mean, you this need something a... sweet with the uh, the savory. Pepper. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got apricot jelly. I've got cranberry sauce. I've got peanut butter. I've got sweet relish. I've got Oreos. Uh, how about? I thought I had maple what syrup tortillas? down here. I do have PMS down here. How about what, dear? So how about sardines? You want to make me open that can of sardines? No, no, no. Yes. You're going to ruin the scrapple. <laughs> there's two types of sardines there, isn't there? Sardines. Well, there's sardines and then my beloved kippers. kippers. You know, I can Do eat it. kippers right out of the can. Do it. Which one? The kippers. Okay. All right. What do kippers taste like? It's a smoked fish. Mm -hmm. They're smoky. Yeah. Delicious. But I am always kind of thinking something sweet had though, because kippers. this is very savory. Oh, that's kippers. So this would actually be like kippers and eggs, which is famous, like a standard breakfast in the UK, right? Having kippers for, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Marshmallow fluff and bacon. Well, I don't care for marshmallow fluff, but no, the bacon like might counter that so. a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, this has been definitely been a fun exercise. When when we put this out there, the, my email just exploded, yeah. and some people actually said, 
they're emailing it, not posting it in the Facebook group because they were embarrassed. They said, yeah. well, I'm going to embarrass you anyway. And that's why I say <laughs> we know some of you personally and you, you need professional help. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I have a tickle. So these are kippers in the tin. I love them. They're a little salty. They're smoky. They're not fishy at all. Yeah. Are they crunchy? No. No. This is fish. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to find out. <sighs> Snouts and tails. <laughs> the things we do, the money we spend. <coughs> I don't know why I have this tickle now. Is there anything else we want on here? Mm, no, <coughs> I think that's Excuse enough. Me. All right. Okay. I'm going to put that. You on better a... put it on a plate before yeah. you cut it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kippers are. are different from sardines. Mm -hmm. It's a different um, fish. It's a different fish and it's uh, smoked and cured differently. Yeah, it's herring actually. Yeah. I've never had those before. They're delicious. So kippers are kippered, kippered herring, smoked herrings. All right. Look at the yellow Ooh. Runny. I like the runny egg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll try and get this into fours and then we'll Taste it. Oops, there goes a piece of herring. All right. Go in. I hate you all. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's not disgusting. Sourdough, brie, bacon, cheddar, and strawberries. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. What if you use... Well, it's funny because look what this one is. Roasted turkey, cream cheese, and strawberry jam on toast. Why not? Why not instead of the mayonnaise ketchup? Mm-hmm. You could. The herring is fighting with the scrapple is the problem. Yeah. But it's not terrible. Wouldn't be my first choice. How about? Well, well, that doesn't so sound bad. So all the Philly cheesesteak people are going scrambled eggs in your cheesesteak. Yeah, well, but well. think of steak and eggs. Right, right. right. Why Absolutely. not? Absolutely. That doesn't sound terrible. I'm not going to make you guys try this. And, one. The, and then the people that say, "Well, Velveeta's disgusting." You're not make us try it. <laughs> this is you Philadelphia yeah. cheese whiz. Okay. All right. Here we go. I don't put this. Uh oh. No. No, this one is, when I say I'll try anything, it won't be this one. What? Pastrami and cottage cheese That's on banana fish. bread. Are you pregnant, Why? Max? <laughs> Why would you do that? I like all of those things. I could do one plus the banana bread or the other, but not both. Hmm. This isn't bad. I like the fishy taste. Okay. It's you very fishy. Like, you always did like fishy. Well, here, Alan, you can try the kippers. I'll bring these over to you. Yeah, they're just salty and smoky. Mm-hmm. Very smoky. Yeah. Who am I making a mess back here? Karen, About if you're watching. peanut butter and chocolate sprinkles on white bread with no crust. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any chocolate sprinkles here. Although, what do we call them? Jimmy's. The rainbow ones were sprinkles, the chocolate ones were uh -huh. so Wendy entertain six-year-olds? Huh? Does Wendy entertain six-year-olds? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew we had one from our Australian crowd. Cream cheese, Vegemite, tomatoes, and lots of black pepper. Okay. Okay. I don't have any Vegemite, though. Can you get Vegemite in this country? You can. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's Wegmans. strong stuff. No. You can get Marmite, which is similar from Britain. Yeah. But Marmite it's a similar. Isn't as strong as Vegemite. How about nu Nutella and tuna salad? Nope. If you must. Let me just do a couple more because I'm getting to the end of the list and we're almost out of time. Turkey and peanut oh, butter yeah. sandwich. Okay. And then here's a really weird one. Let me reset here. Actually, I like this. 
Like Fried bologna, Nutella, Nutella and, and raisins. raisins. All right. Okay. Okay. I wow, this hour I... went by fast. It did. So, what's next on LCTV? It's the only time I have notes. Um, we have this week's recipe coming out. This week's episode, I should say. You're getting two recipes in one. It's a buy one, get one free. We are making, uh, I'm going to show you how to make Roasted carrot hummus with carrot top pesto. Delicious. Um, we have the Jameson Orange Cosmo that we filmed. That's going to be coming out soon. Stop eating. Uh, we have, I'm working on a roasted vegetable tart. Doug calls raisins <laughs> pathetic grapes. <laughs> um, I'm working on a uh, looks fancy but is easy to do vegetable tart. And thanks to my, my dear friend, our dear friend, David Brown, after I practice a couple more times, I'm going to be making his black walnut cake with cream cheese frosting. You know, we don't bake a lot, so it, it's fun. Um, our next live stream in two weeks is going to be, you can never have too many mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You can do so much with them, and there are so many different types. So it's going to be all about mushrooms. Good. Do you have any, I'm asking one more time, any PSAs or anything you want to talk about? Um, as some of you are watching our videos have noticed, we now have a merchandise shop. Yep. I'm going to wait until uh, our next live stream because we will have the samples in. Mm -hmm. But just to give you a little taste of what it looks like, let's see, laptop, there we go. What about a ninja up there? So what we have ninja? got some oh. aprons with some, our son Kevin, as you've seen him on the channel, does some great graphics, and we think this is so appropriate. I was going to say, that's not Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to cook. I watched a YouTube video. So we've got quite a few of them, and some shirts, and hoodies. Hoodies. Let's see, I like that one. That's That's my favorite. Yeah, and actually, I think that one looks really good in that color. Mm. Oh, I like it on the black better. Or even green. Yeah, but yeah, we will have samples of all of this stuff on our next live stream. Yep. Love to take a tool on the cruise. And people have already bought stuff. Like we had the, the shop open for not even five minutes and, and one of our regular hardcore viewers was like, boom. So thank you, Jennifer, if you are watching. Hold on. Like that one. Even though we're not officially talking about it, Good. I'll put the direct link in there. Okay. Peter? Yes. You got a thumbs up on that last one with oh. the, the egg and the awesome. scrapple <laughs> and the kippers. I liked it. I mean, you can't go wrong with scrapples and eggs, in my opinion, my little humble opinion. The And the fish added a yeah. little twist to it. I, I see, I thought it was kind of fighting with the scrapple, but no. okay, if you like it. Well, I liked I liked the fish. Yeah. So Yeah. All right, well, that's okay. All right, let's uh, wrap this up a little bit. Uh -huh. All right, so we'll be in chat for a few more minutes. Thank you all for joining us. This was a lot of fun today. Um, stay tuned. And special thanks to our subscribers and supporters, mm -hmm. Brad and Brian, Carol, Kevin, Joe and Peggy, Rob and Robin, and everyone today yes. in chat. And